Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Mach 1 from the Gameverse Abomination Build-A-Figure Wave. And someone over at Hasbro must love the Thunderbolts because they really show that team a lot of love, and it's not the most popular team ever. It's not like the X-Men or Avengers or Fantastic Four. It's relatively unknown unless you're like into the comics, but Thunderbolts are awesome, so I'm happy to see someone as obscure as Mach 1 get an action figure, and I really hope they get a to giving us the fixer and atlas and i think that's all we need and we'd have the original thunderbolts lineup so that's really exciting but anyways let's go ahead and get into this starting off with the packaging it's your standard marvel legends packaging it's collector friendly you're able to see the figure right here once again just like rage he comes with no accessories other than the build a figure piece i think that's kind of weak but it is what it is on the side of the box we have some really cool looking artwork on the back of the box we have that same artwork but you're just able to see more of it and it looks really badass i love the way that looks and then of course we have the one sentence biography up here we get a look at all the other figures in the wave we get a look at the build a figure and that's it for the packaging so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look okay so here we have mach 1 right out of the box and this is a very cool looking figure but there are some problems with him right away as soon as i opened it up i noticed that his arms are kind of warped from the way that he's in the plastic you can see that his lower arms kind of come out a little bit so that kind of sucks and i feel like his legs are a little warped as well so i might have to hit him with some hot water and see if i could straighten that out but aside from that he's a cool figure another thing that i dislike about it right away let me get it out of the way is the hands i hate these awkward gripping hands i don't know why they didn't just give them like flat flight hands or uh, some fists. I think either one of those would have been better than these awkward gripping hands. He does share the exact same body as the Ultimate Beetle from a couple years back now. I think that was from the Ultimate Green Goblin Build-A-Figure Wave. I can't really remember, but I never picked up that figure, so this is pretty much new to me. It also has the same body as the Ultron figure that came in the three-pack with Hulk and Vision. That's another one I never picked up. So, you know, this is I'm experiencing this body for the first time, and there is a lot of great sculpting work on it, but there's just a couple of issues that are distracting me from how cool it is, you know, like these hands and then the warped arms. But I'm going to try to fix those up, and then uh, I'm going to take a closer look at it here. So there we go. I did the hot water trick a couple times on the arms and as you can see they are a lot straighter now and they're not flaring out to the side all awkwardly. So now he looks better and I'm definitely enjoying the figure a little bit more because of that. But I really wish I could find some other hands. I, I dug around a little bit. I couldn't really find anything. I did find these flat like Iron Man hands. They came from, I think these are from the Iron Man from the Fans Choice 2 pack, the stealth version. But I'm not completely sure. I just found these in a in a random bin but I am able to stick them on to Mach 1 here and you know it looks it looks kind of cool it matches so you know if I wanted to change it up a little bit I could definitely use these hands for the time being until I find something that's a little bit better if you guys have any suggestions for some better hands that I could throw on this guy let me know I'll probably try to track something down because that's really the the only thing that really throws me off about this figure right away is these awkward ass gripping hands i don't know why they would give a character like this gripping hands so i don't know but look that looks kind of cool could get stuff going and these uh these hands don't match exactly as far as the color goes but they do have lines in them which do match a little bit of what he has going on in his costume so that's cool i mean this kind of works and i might end up just displaying him like that you know having him having him in like a flying pose or something i think that looks pretty cool but yeah, it's really a shame that they gave him these these gripping hands. He has no use for these things. He's not the type of character character that's gonna grip anything. I mean, like you know, that would be in this shape. What's he gonna hold on to? Like a like a stick or like <laughs> a sword or whatever? I don't know. What would you do with with this kind of gripping hand? And as far as the sculpting work goes, I'm really impressed by the amount of details there are on this body. Like I said before, I, I didn't purchase any of the other figures that were made on this body. So this is the first time that I've ever really checked it out. And I didn't realize that there was so much going on with it. But let's go ahead and start off at the head here. This is a really nice looking head sculpt. It's a little weird what they did with the visor. Because as you can see, towards the center there, it's like bright red. And then on the edges, it gets a little darker. And then on the little respirator things close to his mouth it gets even darker but aside from that it does look really cool it's it's kind of it's white but it has like a bit of a shine to it so that's dope then we have the antenna up here and then the rest of the head is that metallic blue so that looks good that's a really good looking head sculpt for Mach 1 and then we have the 
like upper armor piece or like the upper chest armor which looks really cool we have these shoulder pads that are soft plastic so they don't really get in the way too much and then we have the thunderbolts logo so that's really cool and this is pretty clean for the most part there's a little red right there where it's not supposed to be but i think overall it looks pretty nice and yeah i think this upper chest armor looks cool and then down right here in the lower torso we could see a bunch of sculpted detail right there a bunch of little things that look like armor and stuff on the lower arms we have these little like forearm cannons i guess so that all looks really cool and i like all the different blues that we have going on that dark blue that metallic light blue that looks really cool these stupid ass hands and then uh the legs look nice too there's a bunch of detail check out right there on the inner thigh there's some sculpting work then we've got these bumps right here on the back we have some more sculpting work so yeah I like the sculpting and the design of this figure. There's a lot of good stuff going on. And then we have his his like jetpack Buzz Lightyear <laughs> wing set up. So this is cool. And that's like a metallic blue. So that's dope. And the rest is pretty much white. I guess they definitely could have put some uh, paint detail into all this line work here. I think it would have made that pop a little bit more if there was some like black lines. But yeah, just as is, it's a little plain. Down here too, they could have put some red or something down here. Yeah, I don't know. They got a little lazy on the back part of the figure. But yeah, I think in general, the sculpting work and the paint work on this guy is pretty nice. And as I said before, Mach 1 does not come with any accessories. The only thing he does come with is the Build-A-Figure piece for Abomination. So as you can see, he does come with his head. And this figure does look kind of cool, so I probably will end up building it after all. Even though I don't really have a strong desire to have this version of Abomination... You know, the figure looks cool, so there's some potential there. So I I'm, I kind of look forward to putting it all together. If I never do, I'm not going to lose sleep over it or anything. But, but if I do end up putting it together, I'm sure that I'll enjoy the figure because so far it does look kind of cool. And now for some quick size comparisons, we have Mach 1 alongside a couple of his Thunderbolts teammates. On the left, we have the Marvel Legends Songbird. And on the right, we have the Marvel Legends Citizen V. And even though I don't really love any one of these figures individually, it's really cool to see them all together like this standing side by side and then next up we have them alongside the marvel legends moonstone and marvel legends beetle here we have them alongside the marvel legends radioactive man and the marvel legends ghost here he is with a couple of random avengers on the left we have the marvel legends vintage wave vision and on the right we have the marvel legends hercules and then last but not least we have them alongside the marvel legends bucky cap and marvel legends pizza spider-man and as far as the articulation goes this body is a couple years old so there are things that they pretty much do standard now that they didn't do at this time so there are some limitations on this figure but for the most part i think it's it's pretty good for a character like this. He doesn't need a crazy amount of articulation. I think what we have here works fine for him. It's your standard Marvel Legends basic articulation setup. So it's okay. But let's go ahead and get into it. First off, his head is on a ball joint. So it does go side to side. And then it's got a little bit of tilt to it. He could look up to about right there. But then it's kind of stopped by his jetpack thing. And just so you know, the jetpack part does not come off. It's attached to the figure itself. So it's not going anywhere. So it is going to hinder the articulation in some spots like it does on the head. But, you know, it's not too bad. You could still get him to look up like that. And that's probably what you'd want to do. So that's good. And then he can look down to about right there. So that works. And then the ab crunch is kind of weak. It only crunches forward to about right there. So that's not the best thing ever. Again, I guess it's okay for a character like this. But I wish he could get a little bit more out of that. And then he does have a waist swivel. For the arms, he has ball jointed shoulders. And... I mean, the shoulder pads do get in the way, kind of, but they do move, so you can get his arm up like that, but it just looks kind of stupid <laughs> because the way that the shoulder pad is, it's just too big, and, you know, it just kind of looks funny no matter what you do with it, so, uh, you know, I would say that even though it allows the movement, it, it, st it doesn't let you do anything naturally, so I would say that it's still pretty much a hindrance, you know, but it does come out to the side, and then he has upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow which is pretty good he has a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist and then for the legs they do come out to the side to about right there they come forward a pretty nice amount actually so that's good they come back to about right there he has upper thigh swivel double jointed knee 
that bends to about right there, so that's cool. There's no lower leg swivel. His foot does come out to right there, comes up to right there, and then you have some rocking ankles. So like I said, it, the articulation doesn't suck or anything, but there's just some things I wish that were a little bit better, like mainly the torso. I wish we got a little bit more movement out of that. But aside from that, I think the articulation setup on this figure works good for this character. All right, guys, so overall, I think this figure is okay. I don't hate it or anything, but I'm definitely not in love with it. I really wanted to like it more than I actually do, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And the main reason why is because his hands. If he had better hands, I would like this figure a lot more. And it's crazy how much of an impact something that insignificant could have on your overall feel about a figure because these hands just look so ridiculous. Like, what is he going to hold on to like that? I just don't understand why they would include these kind of gripping hands with a character like this they should have given them like flight type of hands or even fist or maybe just like open kind of like like dramatic looking grabbing hands i think that would have been cool any of those would have been a better option than what we got here i'm just not a i'm just really i'm disappointed with those hands and it's kind of it's kind of like souring me on the whole figure opening the figure and having those warped arms was kind of a bad like introduction to the figure but i was able to fix that and i became happy with the way that his arms were but i couldn't do anything about about those hands honestly if i found a suitable set of hands laying around i'd probably be more hyped up about this figure so until i do that you know i'm just kind of like eh, you know the figure's okay he's gonna do his job i mean he's gonna look awesome next to the other thunderbolts figures on my shelf and i really like that they're making a bunch of figures from that thunderbolts team i think that's awesome they're really close to finishing it but i just really wish that they put a little bit more love into the execution of it and i will say with this figure i think they did a good job of adding enough pieces to make this body feel different from previous versions of it um like i said i don't have any of those but as soon as i saw this i wasn't just like oh repaint of beetle or whatever it was just like oh, okay oh yeah those parts come from beetle but there's some different things going on so i'm okay with that really the only thing about this figure i really dislike is the hands other than that i think he's cool and i'm very happy to have this character so you know it is what it is but anyways thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff thank you so much peace